Earlier in the series, we told the story of an aggressive territorial Cryptic, where he made an enemy that would cause him to meet his end in a rather pathetic way. This enemy was the Tanook. If you spend enough time in the mountains of Scenaria, you may catch a glimpse of this elusive feline predator. This tusked carnivore is known to us as the Tinook. While they may not seem like much of a threat at first, these cats are equipped with giant tusks that can fatally injure any creature that has the misfortune of an encounter with the Tinook. The Tinook stands at roughly 18 feet tall and around 75 feet long. These predators usually weigh around 3 tons. Its tusks are almost two and a half meters in length, making a lethal weapon when used correctly. This Tinook is on her way home after a day of scouting for small prey. Any items she can bring back to her pride would be welcome. Despite having killed the Cryptic, she will not bring it back to her pride. This kill was so pathetic that bringing it back may result in exile from the group. The Tinook surveys the territory, making sure the Tundra Plain is safe to traverse alone. Once she is sure the coast is clear, she makes her way down towards the den. In the den, the other Tinook are pleased to see her return. They approach her and make friendly calls, gladly welcoming her. The Tinook are social cats and form close familial bonds with others of the same species. Like most prides, this one is formed mostly of females, with only one or two males. Males usually leave the pride once they reach adulthood and form coalitions with other males so they can claim their own pride in the future. This pride has grown to quite a large size. Larger numbers mean that these creatures are better equipped to defend their territory from larger predators. These Tinook are excellent representatives of their species. Each feline has distinct markings and colorings to help it camouflage into the snowy regions of the tundra and mountain biome. A few of these Tinook are even a brown color, a rarer coat seen in Tinook from southern territories such as the Redwood regions. These cats are preparing for a hunt. In the mountains, a small herd of Pastagon are wandering. Despite their size, these magnificent beasts are not as threatening as they may appear. With each adult weighing in at over 40 tons, these herds offer protection to smaller creatures from predators. The Pastagon seem to enjoy their role, and sometimes even offer rides to smaller creatures. At 13 meters tall and almost 30 in length, the Pastagon is one of the largest species that roam these lands. Pastagon herds are led by a matriarch, the oldest female in the group. With her experience and age, she guides and teaches her herd everything, ensuring the future generation's survival once she is gone. This herd are on their annual migration from the desert to the tundra. Even though they are so physically massive, there are still many creatures that pose a threat to them. As the Pastagon walk down from the mountain, they are unaware of the ambush waiting for them. The Tinook Hunting Party Pastagon is the primary food source for the Tinook, as it is the largest prey item that migrates into their territory every winter. This hunting party of four is keen for their feast to arrive. Each cat has taken up a different hiding place dependent on their markings in order to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. As the Pastagon reach the brow of the hill, the matriarch senses something is wrong and signals to a herd to stop moving. Unfortunately for her, they do not have the herd exactly where they want them. Slowly and carefully, the hunting party creep out of their hiding places and head towards the herd. Now aware of the imminent threat, the matriarch begins acting aggressively towards the Tinook in hopes that it will scare them away. Sadly, this does not face them. The Tinook continue to surround the herd, forcing them backwards into a smaller area. There is no way to escape now. The Tinook are much more agile than the Pastagon. As the Tinook pride close in, the matriarch charges towards the group, swinging her tusks frantically. The Tinook retreats slightly to avoid a hit. A strike from an adult Pastagon could easily be fatal, so the Tinook must be cautious. As the Tinook back off, a young member of the herd notices an opening. She's inexperienced and has likely never encountered this number of Tinook before. She sees the opening and takes this chance to escape. 
Filled with fear and in a panic, the young Pesagon charges ahead. Unfortunately for her, the Tinook see this opportunity and abandon the herd to pursue the youngster. The adults of the herd cry out and attempt to save the youngster, but sadly, they do not have the speed to catch up with them. The Tinook are much more agile than the calf and quickly catch up to it. As the calf runs out of steam, two Tinook assume positions on either side of the group, running in front of their prey and closing its exit. The Pastigan is now surrounded. From the bushes, a fifth Tinook emerges to close the final gap. With nowhere else to go and no strength to combat the predators, the fight is over for this Pastigan calf. After making their kill, a few members of the hunting party pick up parts of the carcass and begin their journey back to the den. This leaves the two remaining Tinook to guard their food until the others return. But it doesn't take long for their carcass to attract scavengers. This odd looking bird is a Corvorax, a large adaptable scavenger. The Corvorax would usually be a threat to the Tinook, but this one is still quite young. As soon as the Tinook have their backs turned, the Corvorax attempts to steal some of the carcass, but he's too slow and is chased away, quickly taking flight to avoid becoming a meal himself. Despite his looks, the Corvorax is rather intelligent. He swoops in to grab a piece. What a chancer! Back at the den, the two hunting party members return. Waiting for them are a pair of very hungry cubs. The hunters greet their mother, who is very keen to have a meal. She's still weaning her cubs, which may take a few weeks. Until then, the mother needs as much energy as possible to produce milk for her cubs. After the mother has eaten, her cubs are encouraged to eat some of the meat. Although they aren't used to eating this just yet, this will become their primary food source over the coming months. Due to the size of this pride, the mother feels safe allowing her babies to play out in the open. Mother Tinook are extremely protective over their offspring, so she is quick to react if there is a suspected threat. The male Tinook stays by her side, offering extra protection just in case. While the babies are relatively harmless right now, in a few years they will be just as deadly as their mother and father. But for now, they play. These cubs still have a lot to learn.